This is a practice exercise from page 448 in the textbook. We're looking at reading phase diagrams. So there are three questions they give us about the phase diagram of methane, which is shown here. First, the first thing they ask us is, what is the normal boiling point of methane? So when they say normal, what they mean is at normal pressure, which is one atmosphere of pressure. So when we look at this, we want to try to figure out the boiling point at one atmosphere of pressure. Now boiling point is the conversion between a liquid and a gas. So we just look at this phase diagram, we find one atmosphere of pressure, and we can see here on the red line when it goes between a liquid and a gas, and then we just read down to figure out what temperature we're looking at. And if you notice, this is a negative temperature scale, so we're looking at probably about negative 160 degrees C. Next question is, over which pressure range does solid methane sublime? So sublimation, subliming, is when you go directly from a solid to a gas. So we're trying to look for where there's a transition directly from solid to gas. And that transition from solid to gas occurs anywhere on this line here, where there's direct contact between these phases. And in order to get to that portion, you need to have a pressure that is below 10 to the negative 1, so below 0.1 atmosphere. And the last question says, liquid methane does not exist above which temperature? So if we take a look at the blue portion where the liquid methane is, they're asking us what it does not exist above. So that brings us to this point here, point 3, which is called the critical point. And you can see past this critical point, all we have is what's called a supercritical fluid. And notice how the liquid and the gas phases are blending into each other. So that's the location where we no longer have a liquid. After that point, we only have a supercritical fluid. So again, we're going to check the temperature at which that occurs. And again, since we're on a negative temperature scale in this portion of the graph, we're looking at about 80 degrees Celsius. So what that tells us is that above negative 80 degrees Celsius, which is pretty cold, there is no liquid methane. But we want to be a little bit careful with that because in order to be in that supercritical fluid region, we also have to have a pressure that's between 10 and 100 atmospheres. At normal pressure, we would just get a normal solid, liquid, and gas. But you can see that we've got a very small region at normal pressure where we would have that liquid methane. But as the temperature increases and pressure increases, we get into the supercritical region. And as long as the pressure is high enough, above negative 80 degrees Celsius, we will only have a supercritical fluid. So you're just going to want to make sure you understand how to read these phase diagrams. Realize that they're going to look very similar for different substances. You're going to have the solid, liquid, and gas in roughly the same location, but the scales of temperature and pressure can change, and then the slopes of these lines will change slightly depending on if you're dealing with water or carbon dioxide or something like this. Again, the important points on this phase diagram here, you've got your states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. All of the curves here represent phase changes because we're crossing over either from solid to liquid, which would be melting, backwards from liquid to solid, which would be freezing, from solid to gas, which is sublimation, or backwards from gas to solid, which is deposition, from liquid to gas, which is boiling, or from gas to liquid, which is condensation. So make sure you understand what these regions represent, what the different lines represent. You're familiar with the idea of a critical point above which you only have a supercritical fluid. And this point here, point number one, which is called a triple point. So this is the temperature and pressure at which all three phases, solid, liquid, and gas, exist in equilibrium. So if you can get it to this temperature and pressure, you will have a combination of all three phases at once. So those are the regions of the phase diagram you should be familiar with.